Hi everyone, Nicholas Parfidis here from Sunny Cyprus and welcome to today's tutorial. Now this is based on the 2025 February March Paper 3.1 which mainly focuses on web design and spreadsheets. This particular tutorial is part one of three tutorials for this paper. It covers task one which is generating the evidence document and task two which is file management where we see some important information about file management. For the other tasks, four, well, sorry, three and four, you can have a look in the playlist. You will find those there. And again, don't forget that in my playlist for uh, web expression, I solve the web design component task three using web expression as well. So let's get started with solving this paper. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the question paper. And scrolling down, first page, we see that we need to make sure we've got these source files so we can complete this practical assessment. So let's make sure you've got these files on your computer saved somewhere. And task one is the evidence document. It says create a new word process document. Make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Save this uh, evidence document in your work area as M25 evidence underscore. So I'm just going to copy that followed by your center number, candidate number, for example, that. And you're gonna need this to place some screenshot. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go create that evidence document. Here's my folder with all my files. I've got everything here already. I'm just gonna right click here, new Word document. I'm just gonna paste that there, which is what I copied over. And the next thing I want is my center number, CY127 underscore one two three four now again please be very careful when you're writing the file names that they give you you use the correct case so capital letters small letters exactly as they are on the question paper so we're going to open this word document here let me just bring this up here there it is and since it doesn't say anywhere specifically to place the information i'm just going to double click in the header area at the top here and i'm going to enter my information there And then double click over here. And I'm just going to go to file save to make sure that's saved. So this is going to be my evidence document. I'm going to be opening this up every so often to be placing my screenshots and my evidence. So I'm just going to minimize that. There's no need to close it. So let's go back to our question paper. And this is uh, task two, the file management. Now, again, this is going to be a very short video because we're only going to do the first two tasks here. It says create a new folder called plaster. Locate only the following files and store them in your plaster folder. So I need to locate these six files and place them inside the folder plaster. And then it says display the contents of your plaster folder showing the. Now I'm just going to highlight what I need to do here. So I want the folder name, all file names, file extensions, file sizes, frame height, frame width, and image dimensions. Okay, so let's start by creating the folder and placing the files first. So here's my folder which contains all my files. I'm just going to right click, create a new folder. I'm going to call it plaster with all small letters because that's how it's got it in the question paper. And now I'm going to find the files that I want to transfer in there. So this is M25 const, that one. I'm going to use the control button to form multiple file selection. M25 logo, M25 plaster, CSS, M25 plaster, MP4, M25 spec, HTM, and the TXT file. Now I'm going to right click. Sorry, let's just do that again. Right click on one of these. I'm going to copy these, open my folder, and paste them. Now, I'm not going to move them. The reason I'm not moving them is if I mess one of these files up or I make a mistake, I've got the original files back here. Okay, so I can come back to those. You don't have to, but that's my personal preference. Okay, so here are my files. So I'm just going to spread this out a little bit more. Now, I want to be able to see some more information, for example, the extensions of these files. Now, my computer is already set up to show the extension file. Now, to do, and you can see here, it says n25const.htm. Now, this happens on my computer because if I go to, if I click on the Windows icon and go to File, you've got File Explorer options here in the settings, and you can look for that. And if you open this up, you can go to view and here it says 
Where are we? Hide extensions for known file types. And you can see this one here, I've got unticked. And because I've got, if I click on that and choose apply, you can see the extensions now from my file names here have vanished. Okay. So I always leave that unticked because it just helps me to identify, identify files which have got exactly the same name, but different extensions. However, for this exercise, they want us to show the extensions. And if you don't have these, well, I'm going to show you how you can show anything you're actually asked to display about each file. So the first thing we need to do is go to view and make sure we choose details. Okay, so we've got view details selected. Go away. And then from here, we can see we've got some headers at the top. These headers here, name, date, modify, type, and size. Now, if I right click on any one of these, I can see some more headers that I can add or remove. For example, if I don't want the date modified, I can remove the tick and now it's gone. But it doesn't have the other ones that they asked me to display. So if I right click on these and go to more, I now have a list of all of these different bits of details that I can uh, display about my files. So the first one is folder name. Now, I don't really need to select something here for folder name. Um, if you look here, it's got here folder. If I just click on there, folder name, click OK. You can see here it's got the folder name. There we go. But that's already displayed up here. But if you want to be really meticulous and really show that you know what you're doing, you can add that there. OK, so it's got my folder name. I'm going to right click. I then want all the file names. Well, I've got the file names here. But again, if I was to look over here. You've got file name and you can add that in as well. And that adds the field file name. And that's exactly what they asked for. OK, extensions again, my extensions display, but I can right click here, go to more and go to file extensions file extension. What else do I want? I want file size. Yeah, that's already added by default. So frame height, frame width. So if we go up to F, frame height, frame width, and image dimensions. So that's going to be under D for dimensions. Dimensions, there it is. And if I click on OK, here's all the information which I've been asked to display. So I can just expand that. I'm going to get rid of this preview here, so I can just get rid of that. And there's everything that I've been asked to show. I'm just going to make these tight. Make sure everything displays completely, though, without chopping the file names. And that's me being really, really meticulous. So I've got the name, the name, the type. Expand that as well. I've got the size, the folder name, the file name, the dimensions, file extension, frame height, frame width everything that I've been asked to display. Okay, so from here, I can just simply take a screenshot. And all I need is to do is to take this here. I, now, normally, I would say you want to take from up here, all the way up here, because you want to show the the folder name, which is there, let me just turn that into a yellow pen, you want to show the, fo the folder name, I don't have to this time, because I've got the folder name here. But you can if you want to. It really doesn't matter. Now, again, guys, I'm going to say, please do not um, take screenshots using dark mode. It doesn't print well. If you want, if you are going to use dark mode like I'm doing here, just make sure it prints really well and all this information is nice and clear. So I'm just going to make my text wrap tight, make that a little bit bigger like that so it views nicely. And I'm just going to go to file save. And that's it for the first two tasks. Now, this is a re really short. I want to keep the tasks separate because I want the web design and the spreadsheets to be totally separate units. So again, um, from this tutorial, just make sure you know how to find all, all the different little components that you can display in, um, in Explorer by using the design view and right clicking on one of those headers and just go and explore. When you click on more, go and explore all the different things that are available there. But whatever they ask you, um, if you put more information, that's absolutely fine. Putting information that if, if you miss information they've asked for, well, that's not so good because you will lose a mark there. All right, so I'm going to stop this video here. You know the drill, you like, 
you learned something new make sure you uh click like and uh, subscribe to the channel and yeah jump over to the next part the next tutorial which is task three web design